What's up everybody? Today I'm here with another Walking Dead topic. And today I'm here to ask the question, will Andrew feel abandoned or betrayed by Rick them for leaving her there for dead in the Walking Dead season 2 finale? And, and, and what I mean by this is, well, I'm going to say that she won't feel betrayed. That's just my opinion because if you look at it, there was too much activity going on in the season two finale. Because we all know that Rick stabbed Shane. And once he stabbed Shane, I think um, Shane going into shock caused him to pull a trigger on the gun. And once he shot the gun, um, that caused the walkers to follow the noise. And then they eventually found Rick them on the board. And, 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 and the reason, this is just my speculation, but are my thoughts. The reason why I think the walkers traveled that far because there was no food supply left in the city. So we seen them traveling from the city until um until it was close to Herschel Born because zombies are, zombies slash walkers are dumb. So they don't know they was going to Herschel Born. They wasn't even going to Herschel Born. They was just wandering in the woods until they heard a gunshot. So they followed the noise. If y'all know that it was too much activity going on, we had Rick there, we had Herschel fighting off the walkers and stuff. Even, even Rick burnt the boring up. I mean, it was a lot of activity going on. So I'm not going to say they forgot about Andrea. I'm not going to say that, but it was too much going on, and and they, and they was trying their best to escape. And so they did leave Andrea there. And so she did have she did have to um. Um, defend for herself until she met Michonne because eventually Andrea would have died. She was all out of energy. Um, I, I think she was all out of ammo. I mean, th there wasn't nothing left. There was walkers everywhere, even in the woods. She was doing pretty good until Michonne came because eventually she would have died. And now let me say this. I mean, I'm not going to say that Rick them left her on purpose because I just I already said it already, but think about it. I mean, Rick, in season two finale, Rick was going to let Lori stay there and die. Because remember when they made it on the highway and Rick tells Carl, because Carl asked him, what about mom? And then Rick tells him, um, she's, I think he mentioned that she's probably dead or she's dead. He wasn't going to go back and save his pregnant wife. So why would he go back and go save Andrea? I mean, in, 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 in terms of Rick making... um. Decisions in terms of saving people, yes. And I said I mentioned this before. His his attention, uh, um, his um judgment in saving people is very very bad. He's he tend to save the wrong people at times, but that's another video for another day. And now we all know that in the season three trailer that Michonne and Andrea will make the perfect that um the perfect dynamic duel. And and we seen in the season three trailer that. When when um when Andrea is talking to the governor, we see that she that, that she tells him that she had more people with her. Now I don't know if the governor asked her this or she just came out and said this, but she did mention that there was more people with her. And this right here gives the governor a hint that there is more survivors outside of Woodbury. So so he do so he do have um, speculations of Rick them now from her from her telling this, telling him this, and you can tell that she don't really know much about him. That the governor has a dark side, and Robert Kirkman did mention that the governor in the Walking Dead TV series will be watered down from the governor in the comic book series. But that's another video for another time too. And we can see what Michonne looks at Andrea when she's telling Governor this. And you can we can tell that Michonne is like, "Are you crazy?" She didn't say this, but you can tell she she, she was saying this in her head. She was looking at him like, "Are you crazy?" I already because like Michonne already said this in the season three trailer. She do not trust the governor, A.K.A. Philip. That's his real name. She do not trust him because we all know that he plays this. Uh, this good guy role in the beginning of season three, but we all know that the governor has a dark side. Now, in the comic books, the governor didn't waste no time showing his dark side because he literally cuts off Rick's hand, and he also used zombies for um he he also used zombies for entertainment chained up. He stated that in the comic books, having zombies chained up 
is better than watching. Um, yeah, I think he, he yeah he got zombies chained up and he feeds the zombies, um, human flesh and stuff. And he states that this is better than watching TV. So we all know that we see the governor dark side in the comic book very fast. But 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 moving on. We, I mean, as, as we see it, because we all know that Andrea mind is very easy to manipulate. Because we seen what Shane was doing. Because remember in season two, when Shane was telling her, I'm done with this group. I want to leave. And Andrea was just believing him, sucking up everything. And she also decides to question Rick's leadership after she had this talk with Shane. And like I say, her mind, you can easily influence Andrea. And we all know that Dale played a major role in Andrea's life um, in terms of her surviving because Andrea was going to blow herself up in the CBC lab, but it was Dale, the one who, who, who convinced her not. So overall, Dale was the perfect person for Andrea in terms of influencing her, telling her the right things to do. And Shane, I'm not going to say he was influencing her. But she she just thought she just took in that way. She was just listening to what he was saying because Shane had his own mind, and Shane was gonna do whatever he took whatever it took to um, get Carl and Laura to itself. But overall, like I say, you can easily influence um Andrea, and and that's what I think the governor is going to do in season three. He's going to um tell her some stuff, you know, make her feel like she's at home. That and and, and basically she can tell him anything she um she wants. She can trust him, but. We all know that Michonne doesn't trust him, and of course that's that's um that's good because the governor is not trustable, especially the TV series. He's sneaky in the comic book series because he played like the good guy. And and, and, move, and, and moving on, and the main topic about this video, what I'm gonna talk about, how would Andrea go about meeting Rick them again? Would she feel betrayed? Would she? Would she? I don't, I don't know how it's gonna happen. And, and also, let me say this: we all know that. Andrea does not know Shane is dead. Now we all know that Andrea and Shane had this love triangle going on, or not even a love triangle. We know that they had sex, and we also know that um the reason why Andrea knew how to shoot so good is because of Shane. Because Shane the one taught her how to get a perfect headshot on a zombie. And he also, you know, and just in general, he taught her how to shoot. And they also, you know, they, they had they, they had they had sex and stuff. And we also know that she cared. I'm not gonna say she she loved him, but I definitely say she cared about Shane. And it was so much stuff going on in the season two finale that nobody never really got to talk. Um, because we all know that Rick tells Lori after after the bond and stuff is burned down and after they escaped that he killed Shane. So did nobody have time to talk. So Andrea does not know Shane is dead, and she do not know that Rick killed him. So that's another thing. Would Andrea questioning Rick? Well, would, would she be mad at him about killing Shane? That's even if she even get to see, um, see Rick. So like I say, and I have a feeling that Andrea will, will come to the governor at that prison. And I'm not going to say in the beginning, but eventually when he takes it over on um, Rick, that might come to Woodbury to save Andrea. I don't, I don't know how, how that's going to work. But I definitely say that I don't know what, what, will she question, will she question Rick's leadership about about Shane's death after he tell her or or will she just um, be mad at, at at the group in general for, for um for leaving her like that's a good question you guys leave you guys comments tell me how you feel how would Andrea goes how would Andrea goes about Shane's death and how she feel about the group basically leaving her there for dead. That's a that's a good question. Um, you can also leave your comments and thoughts in one of my Walking Dead videos. So uh, comment, subscribe, and rate. I mean, I'm sorry. Comment, comment, subscribe, and rate.